What's up guys? This is HD Eggs here, back here with a brand new topics of the day. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with topics of the day with this brand new Grand Theft Auto Online expansion here that the developer Rockstar Games launches the Stunt Race Creator expansion to build custom tracks in the Grand Theft Auto Online mode, which is so awesome here. So as it says here, Rockstar Games has released a new patch that gives players a virtual stunt race toolkit with pre-built roads and obstacles that can be pierced together to form custom tracks and challenges. And this is what I love about Grand Theft Auto Online and the expansions and because it is expanding I mean time and time and time again with brand new features, brand new expansion kits such as the business update, the beach bum update, the Valentine's Day massacre update, the holiday gifts update, the capture update, the heist update, and I can go on and on and on and on. And with this brand new feature that it, that has been announced, oh man, it's 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 gonna get. I mean, GTA Online is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and better than ever, and it's so friggin' awesome. And I can't wait to check it out. And also, I can't wait to see a lot more updates in the near future and and the possibility of seeing Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh, man, what am I kidding? I mean, there's going to be a new Grand Theft Auto 6. I can't wait till they announce it in next year's E3. I hope so, or the other E3. I mean, we'll just see what happens. I mean, Rockstar, I mean, keep up the good work. Take, take Two Interactive, keep up the great work. We can't wait to see the new expansions in the future. All right, next topic. Yes, as we all know, the new Xbox One S has just recently been out yesterday, and and I can tell it's it looks really cool. The specs are awesome, and I recently found out this article that someone sent me here, a friend sent me here, that Halo protagonist found engraved inside the new Xbox One S consoles. Yes, I'm talking about Master Chief, the bad. The badass dude with the big guns. <laughs> the mascot of Halo. Yes. And from what I found here, YouTube user Austin Evans took apart his new Xbox One S and reportedly found the Easter egg of the Halo character etched onto an optical disc drive component. And it is so awesome. I mean, it is so freaking awesome. Next topic. Also in related Xbox One news, Microsoft releases the summer update for the console. The update introduces the Cortana Assistant, background music, improved game collection, and several other new features to the new console. It became available as free on download as of Monday. On Monday, yes. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they're putting in some brand new features here within the update for the Xbox One. I mean, like, at first I wasn't keen with the Xbox One. I mean, I wasn't excited about it ever since um, the uh, the press conference fiasco that went down in 2013, three, uh, three years ago. I mean, like, I mean, with television, all that. And they just couldn't, like, explain, like, I mean, they just couldn't, like, make it, like, center around the games. I mean, and the DRM policy disaster, which... I mean, we didn't even like it to begin with, and I'm glad they reversed it and they're adding in, like, like, keep things a little bit more balanced, so that way they won't make it, like, Big Brother, I mean, you get what I'm saying? And now that they're neck and neck with the PlayStation 4, which is a, which is a really cool console, so by the way, I also love the PlayStation 4 console, so... I'm still thinking about either getting the PS4 or an Xbox One, so I'll think about this in the near future, but I digress, so let's continue. Next topic! Alright, I'm gonna make this video real quick here, jumping from the Xbox One to PlayStation related. So, the PlayStation VR, the virtual reality headset, requires about 60 square feet of space for use, Sony says. Players should feel should also clear an area about 9.8 feet by 6.2 feet and remain seated whenever possible while playing according to the new document documentation released by sony the headset will be launched on october the 13th all right i gotta be honest right here i mean like don't get me wrong i mean the playstation vr headset looks good but 60 to 90 feet what, 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 what wait, I mean 9.8 feet 9.8 feet what sense does that make I mean 9.8 feet long 6.2 wide 
Look, I mean, if you live in a small apartment, I mean, you're out of luck. And, and trust me, I mean, I may live in a medium-sized apartment. I mean, it's a really decent apartment. I mean, give or take. But this is too, this is too, like, the space there is too large. I mean, what sense does that make? I mean, like, I mean, this is a big risk in my opinion. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'll give that a try. I mean, I'll take that with a grain of salt. I will use this. I mean, I am not going to judge it until I use this myself. I mean, hey, I'm a big, I'm a fun, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan when it comes to virtual reality. Don't get me wrong. But I hope that they, this will, this will catch it. And I hope this is catch right by the time it comes out on, on October the 17th. I hope so. Look, what I'm trying to say here is that, I mean, the virtual reality, I mean, it's so awesome, but, like, why that much space? 9.8 feet long, 6.2 feet wide? Like, what sense does that make? I mean, all you have to do is just sit down, put on the headset, and, and just enjoy the virtual reality experience. I mean, not with all of this space. I mean, just not with all of that space. I mean, like, Sony, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, like... Just make a few adjustments. I mean, just make a few adjustments to make sure it works and that it could be accessible to anybody that lives in, like, doesn't matter if they live in a, in a large place or a small place. I mean, just make it work. I mean, like, without all of this space. I mean, you get what I'm saying? So let's see what happens. And I hope it works. I mean, I'll, look, I'll take it with a grain of salt. Don't get me wrong. I'll take it with a grain of salt. Next topic. Alright, so we're going to move on from PlayStation to Nintendo. Yes, here you can get the power. Nintendo power, that is. They, we've been hearing some news that you can read the first 145 issues of Nintendo power online right now. Yes, before the internet, there was video game magazines, there was Nintendo newsletter, and then... There was the iconic Nintendo Power. Oh, yes. Get the power. Nintendo Power. I know, I already said it like twice, but I digress. As the popularity of gaming magazines began to wane at the advent of the internet, Nintendo's power's influence and necessity slowly faded. The last issue was released on December the 11th, 2012, with a cover that was a callback to the very first issue that was released in the July of 1988. Now that you can check them out again as the archive contains from 1 to 145, yes, issues 1 to 145 as you can see from the gallery below which I'm gonna send you a couple of link down in the description if you want to check it out here yes the magazine covered yes with the release of classics such as Mega Man Mega Man 2 Super Mario Brothers 3 Metroid The Legend of Zelda and Link to the Past Donkey Kong Country Mortal Kombat I mean I can go on and on and on yeah, let me tell you, I always loved Nintendo Power since I was a little kid. I mean, especially um, back in the days uh, when I was playing the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64. And I always check out Nintendo Power to get some brand new tips here. And it's so cool that the old school issues of Nintendo Power is now officially archived and, and we can all check it out. So I'm going to check them out right now. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Hey, I mean, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. So this is HDX signing out. Have a good one.